came up prematurely. All right, here we go. Craig, Mad Dog, Madrin. <laughs> Woo! Oh, all right. Yeah. Okay. And a good game slap on the butt. Thanks, Couch. <laughs> Folks, give it up for John Couch Burger Gang from WNIR Radio. Does a fantastic job up here. The talk of Akron. And I'm representing Akron tonight here on my T-shirt. You can see the 330. Doesn't say the 234. Nothing about the 234. There's no 234. Thank you very much. I love Akron. Grew up here, born and raised in Springfield Township, as Couch said. Our town motto is Welcome to Springfield. Help yourself to the salad bar. Because <laughs> it's true, we have a lot of salad bars in Akron, man. We've got probably two or three on every main road. You know, and I, I, growing up, I thought that was common. I thought that everybody enjoyed the same kind of salad bar access that we did. But when I moved up to Cabo Falls and the Stowe area, I drove around for like 45 minutes one Friday night, and I found out that was not the case, man. And I don't get it. I mean, what, what, what is it about a salad bar that you people detest? I mean, is it the speed, the convenience, the fun of putting together little food combinations that nobody else does? I mean, I don't, I don't get it, man. You know, I think that the spit guard on a salad bar, the, you know, that spit shield, I think that's one of the most innovative inventions in world history, honestly. I think you got the wheel and the light bulb, maybe close third, mm -hmm, salad bar spit shield, you know? <laughs> And then from there, you know, the list goes on, uh, telephone, iPad, Facebook, printing press, you know, the list goes on. But, you know, I think that because, does anybody here remember the days of eating in a salad bar before the spit shield was invented? I, I bet Glenn does. <laughs> it was tough, man. You know, because the salad sneezers were out in force, man. They were, it was a free-for-all for them. It was like pedophiles on the internet, you know? They were everywhere. You know, digging into lettuce, like, oh, I'm just gonna get me some salad. Oh, oh, they got eggs here, too. That's what oh, oh, they got vanilla pudding. That's my favorite. It's disgusting. You go up there to snot everywhere, cigarette butts in the jello, people urinating in the pudding. Terrible. I knew it was the last straw when I found a used condom in the minestrone soup. I was like, whoa, 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 wait a minute. So, thank God for some innovative individual coming through with the spit guard, man. But, uh, no, folks, this is actually my third time doing stand-up comedy here in front of a live crowd. So, uh, yeah, it's just as horrible the first time. But, uh, no, I, I, I've had a lot of outpouring of support from friends and family on Facebook. They say good luck and everything like that. It's, it's nice. You know, uh, the, the real creative friends, you know, they try to help you with your material, you know, and, and they end up telling you just a bunch of things that are really unflattering, you know, like, oh, you know what you should talk about? Maybe all the bad dates you go on because you're so horrible with women. You know, oh, oh, talk about all the fast food you eat, you know, because you're such a filthy, disgusting pig, and everybody will laugh at that, you know. Talk about all the jobs you got fired from because you're an idiot. Talk about what a booze hound you are because you're a languishing alcoholic. Look, 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 you know. I just want to get through a comedy set without hanging a noose from the ceiling and killing myself, you know. <laughs> That'd be nice. But, uh, you know, they mean well. Uh, you know, I saw a uh, post on Facebook, uh, though, that kind of got me a little bit. It said, break your legs. You know, and I thought it was a mistake. I thought they meant, you know, break a leg like they say in theater, you know. Uh, but there was a hashtag next to it that said, no, really, break both of your legs. <laughs> and I, that kind of made me mad. First of all, that's just a blatant misuse of a hashtag, okay. And, uh, you know, second of all, it's just out of line. It was a little bit unsettling, you know. But, uh, you know, my mom's just getting used to Facebook, so I kind of give her a little bit of latitude on that, you know. So, uh, Folks, that is my time. Thank you very much. I'm Craig Mad Dog Matter. Oh, Welcome back, Craig. Mad Dog Matter. Now keep it going for from